Today we're going to be making a two ingredient, two minute peanut butter fudge. Hi, and you're watching Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like, share and comment. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit on that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. For this recipe, we're gonna go in with 450 grams of crunchy peanut butter. You could also use the smooth one, and I've already weighed it out. And one can or 450 grams of vanilla frosting. And we're just gonna put it out into a bowl. Let's take up the seal first. So I'm just emptying it into a bowl first. Now we're gonna go over to the microwave and microwave them for one minute each. Now we've got both of them melted down. Just gonna give the peanut butter a little stir so that we know all has melted well. Those are all the lovely crunchy bits we've got inside. And now we're at the last step. All we have to do is to mix both together. So we're just gonna put all the peanut butter first down into a bowl. And into that, we're gonna pour in the melted frosting. Wow. Now let's give the two a mix and make sure that they're well combined. I'm sure you also agree that this is the fastest, quickest fudge you would have ever made. You'll notice that as you mix it, it starts thickening up. And now we're gonna put it into a lined tray I've lined a seven by seven baking dish and I've kept a little overhang here so that it becomes easy to pull it out when the fudge is ready. I'm just going to put this all in. And we're just going to make sure it goes into all the corners. We're not looking for a very smooth look on the top. We want more of a rustic look, but we want to make sure it reaches all the corners of the baking dish. I'm just going to give it a very rustic finish on the top. We're going to cover this up with a plastic wrap and place it in the refrigerator for about two hours so that it gets a chance to set. Our fudge has now set. Let's unmold it and cut it. We're going to use these handy overhangs that we had kept to pull it out. And see how easy it makes it. Take the paper off from all sides. Wow, this is already looking so delicious. All this ripple effect and the nuts you can see on the top, it's looking amazing. Now don't laugh at me, but I'm going in with the ruler, okay? Because we want to get even pieces, and this is about six and a half inches, so we can cut off the edges and get sharp edges and keep it to six inches, because I find that squares of one and a half inch are just the right size for fudge. So we're just gonna mark it. It's always better to mark before you cut, so that you cut it in the right place. And that little extra that we have at the side, you can always snack on that before Christmas. So we're just going to make a mark between both the marks that we have made. Press it down and cut it. That's the second one. First we just make a mark on the top, connecting the two marks, and then go all the way down. Now let's turn it around, mark it, and cut it the other way. I've already marked it on both sides, so now let's just cut it. Oh my goodness, look at that. This fudge also makes an excellent gift item when you're visiting family and friends during the festive season. And if you want to gift box it, check out my chocolate fudge recipe. I'll leave the link in the description box below. And now it's time to give our fudge a taste. Wow. Mmm. This fudge is so creamy, yet at the same time, it's got that little hint of crunch. It's absolutely divine. And if you want to enjoy it as much as I do, hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.